all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we be trying to explore some powerful open source website that you can actually get free public publicly available data set right so let's check the first one so the first one on our list is the almighty uci right so uci machine learning repository it's a very powerful website uh, which is hosted by uci university of ivan that gives you access to several data sets that you can actually use to try your hands on in case you want to do any machine learning or data science project. So this is the official website, right? Which is the old look. This is the old look. So in case you are watching it from the future, there may be a new look. And this is the new look, right? So let's click on this one here. And if I open it, this is the new look. Right. Very, very wonderful. So this is a very powerful website that gives you access to several data sets. So the popular data sets like the Iris data set, the famous diabetes data set, adults data set, and also some new data sets. You can actually click on any of them. So let's click on the diabetes. And then we can see it, right? So this is a place you can actually download data set and use it to try your hands on. So click on this one, then you download this. So it's going to give you this option. So you click on this, then get access to the data set. Very wonderful website. Very cool. All right, so that is the first option, right? You see, I even this is the new view. Very good. The old view is like this. And if you click on a particular data set, let's say I click on the heart data set, it's going to lead me to the other side. It's going to give me information about the data set, the number of attributes, number of instances, then also the particular associated task, right? Whether it's a classification problem. You can also go back here and view all the data sets. And in this option, it's going to and you can specify the particular type of data set you want, or the particular type of machine learning problem you want. So it can be classification, can be regression, clustering, or other, right? And you can also do it according to the attribute type. And this is several of them, so much, right? Very cool. That's a very wonderful website that that you can also use to get data sets. The next one on our list is the Almighty Data.gov. So Data.gov is hosted by. US government, right? It gives you the option of searching for several data sets that you can actually use to do whatever you want to do, right? So you can search for it here. Let's say COVID data set, COVID 19 data set, and it's going to retrieve, go to the database, and then give you several data sets, right? Very, very interesting. So this is a very powerful website you can actually use to get data set from. So it gives you the option of getting it in Excel. You can also get it in the format of CSV, RDF, JSON, G SML. I don't know why some people still use SML. <laughs> so this is a very powerful website, right? Very, very cool. Right? So there's another alternative. So alternative number two, data.gov. Very nice. The next one, which is a very powerful and famous website, is Kaggle. So Kaggle is not just for competition, but Kaggle also gives you the option of accessing real data sets, right? Which are pretty companies may open source right so if i go back to cargo.com there are competitions that you can actually try your hands on right very very cool, cool stuff there's also data sets that you can actually get from so you have the new data set option you can data set you can also see the trending data set right which is some of them are also not just trending but they are also actual competition data set so you see this one here large shoe data set which is very useful for open cv tax right image recognition we also have this particular credit card which is how many days ago two days ago so we'll try and check it out but sometimes to get access to this data set in Kaggle, you have to register or sign up right very interesting so i can actually click on this and let's see what it has to offer us so this is another alternative so you have seen three different alternatives uci ivan right you also have the data.gov from united states you also have Kaggle, right which is a very powerful website. Very cool. Wow, the data set is very huge. One thing about Kaggle data set that the data set are real life data set and they are actually very huge, right? Sometimes some of them can be very huge. Okay, so let's move on to the next option. So the next option is Google, right? So Google also have a very nice feature to be able to search for data set all over the world. Just call data set search.research.google.com a lot of ways. So there's a website. So data set search, I can search for any data set. So let's search for fishing. And this is a very powerful website, right? Fishing. If I go to fishing data set, it's going to search for it. So you can so it's going to pick from Kaggle, it's going to pick from UCI, it's going to pick from different website, data.world, right? Which are also another powerful website. Then you can actually get it. So it's just it's like a web crawler 
that cross all the entire internet and then fetch data set for you from different websites so that is the feature from google very cool right very very nice okay so you can see all of them you have st statista.com which is also another part of your website you can also get the data set from and the rest now let's move on from here to the next alternative so google we have seen from Kaggle, we have seen from data data.gov data.world you have seen from uci now let's check the next one which is amazon so amazon has open data.aws that gives you the option of also searching for data set per your match right different forms of data set right very cool perfect so this is also another alternative right very cool service from aws amazon right very nice you can actually search for data set and you can get some cool one the third or the next alternative is microsoft so microsoft also have microsoft open Microsoft Research Open Dataset, which is also a very powerful website that gives you dataset per categories, per you have social science, computer science, physics, uh, information science, featured dataset, and the rest, right? Being searched for coronavirus intent, which is a very nice place you can get it set from. Mm. Public perception of artificial intelligence. Wow, this is going to be a very nice thing that we can also do. Maybe in the future, we'll check it out. So let's click on it we'll try and see if we can do some analysis on some of them right so these are all the places you can actually get data set from the next one is also we also have yelp right so yelp data set also have an open data set that you can actually search for data set form and download them all right several data sets then we also have the name this but you are supposed to sign up right you have to get access to that then there's also then there's alternative which is unicef so unicef from united nations also have an option to be able to get data set from different different places right very cool right so almost all these powerful government organizations or institutions have their own open data set repository then you also have dbpedia which is another one that you can also get the data set from and then finally in case you are searching for a data set and you don't you want to get it there's another alternative right go to github right so if i go to github or some public data set there's another place you can also get all different types of data set per category very cool right so these are some of them so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put that in the comment section below and then see you in the next session stay blessed bye so before we go now let us also know any other public open source data set that you know inside the comment section below. See you. Bye.